Now we move on to activity number three of the 2012 uh, paper. Okay, so activity number three is based on using web authoring software and uh, it says recommended 25 minutes. Okay, so this is not a tough question. It's a pretty simple one. We can go through it uh, quite easily. So over here it says the task WA1, Angela wants a new page for the inter AYR website to advertise a special offer in September. Okay, so it's important that you understand what is the web page going to be. It's going to be for the inter AYR inter website and it's the web page is going to be based on a special offer that is to be taking place in September okay so the website is based on this design this is the layout that they have given us okay and they have told us the color style that the background color should be pale yellow and the text should all be in dark blue then also further information has been given information about special offers is stored in the file notes okay so you should be having a file called notes so if you come into your folder and if you open this, you can see inside this, yes, details that you need or the content that you need to pay placed is all over here. Okay, we'll come back to this. And then uh, images are stored in the images folder. So any image that you need, you can find it inside your images folder. Yes, we have that as well. Uh, the logo was created in activity one. Create the web page using the layout shown in the design. Okay, so I'm going to be using Adobe Dreamweaver for this. Okay, so I'm going to come to start and type Dreamweaver over here. Uh, you guys know Dreamweaver is not a small program. It's quite a big program, heavy program. So it might take some time to load up. Okay. <clears throat> So uh, yes, we have Dreamweaver over here. So right now I'm going to go for a, a new HTML document. Okay, so I'm going to click on create new HTML. And once I come on, this is the interface of Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, so I have the code view. Yeah, if you're very good at coding, you can simply put in the coding and get your web page done. Or if you're 50-50 in both, or you would like a view of both, you can have split where you have the code on the left and you can do the design on the right. Or if you only want to focus on the design, you can simply come over here, do the design over here. Automatically over here, the coding will take place. Okay. And if you want to see how your web page will look on the web browser, you can either open it with a web browser. I'll show you how to do that. Or remember, you can also click on this live button. This live button will basically show you how your web page is going to look on the web browser. Okay. But guys, remember, once you have clicked on this live button, okay, once this live button is clicked, you will not be able to make any design, uh, any modifications to your web page. Okay. So even if you try, you will see the output is not working. Okay. So always remember to come and switch off live okay once you switch off live only you can modify your web page okay because what happens is sometimes by mistakenly you click on this button and then you try to modify your web page but you notice the modifications are not taking place okay you might get worried you might start to panic okay just remember that this button when it's clicked on it will not allow you to make any modifications to your website okay so i'm going to stick only to the design view okay and if you come back to your question they have given us the layout let us first get this layout created then we can put the content inside okay so if you look at this layout this layout is a kind uh, is a kind of a table isn't it so it's best we create a table you know very similar to this layout and then accordingly put the information in those specific cells okay so if you look at this this can be considered as one column isn't it let me uh, change this to uh, the cursor <coughs> Is it uh, oh, I cannot find that button anyway. Okay, anyway, so basically we can consider this area as one column. Okay, this has one column. This as another column. This entire area can be considered as another column. Okay, so basically we will need two columns. Okay, and how many rows? One, two, and three. Okay, so we will need uh, two columns and three rows. Okay. So I'll do the same thing over here, come in here to insert, okay, and say I want a table, shortcut keys, control, alt, plus T, and they say you want a table with uh, how many rows, it has to have three rows and it has to have two columns, and always keep your table width at 100%, okay, you can either make it percent or you can make it pixels. Why do I recommend 100%? Because when you make it 100%, your table will automatically adjust on any screen that you view it. Okay, because right now you might be making it on a laptop which is only 13 inch, which is having a 13 inch screen. Your examiner might view this on a desktop which is having a 27 inch screen, for example. 
okay so if you tell your table width to be 100 percent no matter which screen you view it on it will always be 100 percent 100 percent means it will always fit the entire screen okay now if you go to put it in pixels on certain screens it might be big on certain screens it might be too small on certain screens it might go out of uh, its uh, what do you call out it might go out of the screen okay so that is why it's always better you keep it at 100 percent so no matter which screen you view it on it will exactly fit and i'm going to have uh, the thickness of the body is going to be one and I'm going to click on OK. OK, so I have my table like this. And then over here, you can see the logo is supposed to appear. OK, so I'm going to come into my folder and I have the logo over here, which is called AYR logo. I'm simply going to copy it. Right click and you can say copy. You can say control C and I'm going to come and paste it over here. Control V. So now this document is basically uh, telling me that your that it's what, what, what this message is telling me is that if you change the location of this image okay because basically what's happening is the location of the image is being saved so if you change the location of this image the image may not load in your dreamweaver document okay so just keep that in mind and i'm going to say okay over here and alternate text means if the image does not load is there any text you want to load so i'm going to simply say logo and i'm going to say okay and this logo is way too big so from the corners while holding the shift key i'm going to make it a bit smaller okay there you go so while holding the shift key it becomes proportional it, it, sorry it proportionally becomes small okay and then i'm just going to adjust this adjust this okay and then over here the next thing that comes up is that uh, page title is supposed to appear so uh, over here the page title so it's going to be what special offers in september right so i'm just going to type over here special special offers in september okay and remember this is the main heading of your web page isn't it this is the main heading so what you do is you right click paragraph format and say this should be the main heading heading number one okay so you can see it becomes much bigger in size and then the next thing is link to home page should be over here so i'm going to put the home page so i'm just going to say home page over here okay and this should be a link to the home page now this is something that they have not told you in detail but you on your own need to understand that you are just creating a page for their website okay you're just creating one page of the entire website so when i click over here when i click on home or when i click on home page or whatever it should take me to the first page of the website or it should take me to the original or the main address of the website now that those details are given to you at the beginning of your paper if you come right to the top okay if you scroll right to the top uh, can you see over here it tells us this is the address of the home page this is the address of the website so when i click on home page it should be coming over to this address okay so i'm just going to copy this address and I'm going to select this text, select this text and at the bottom, can you see link? I'm just going to paste the text over there. So basically when I click on this, it will be going to this link. Do not forget to press the enter key. Okay. So it has now, can you see it has changed? It has become kind of an underlined blue color font. Okay. Which means it has now become a hyperlink. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's continue. Uh, page content, text and image. So they told me that from the notes file, I can find all the content that I needed. So please do not forget that our web page is only about the offers in September. Okay, so I cannot take the first one. The first one is about August. I can take the second one. So I'm going to copy this text, control C, and I'm going to paste it over here. Press enter and go to the next line. And this is also September. So I can also take this. So control C and control V and uh, is there any other offers in september this is december this is july and this is july so i cannot take that as well okay also i have to put images as you remember in the question they told us text and image so in my images fold i have the images so uh, if you look very carefully guys each of these image so this is for example doha this is germany ireland so the two offers that i'm displaying are belonging to which country they belong to ireland and paris so I need those two images. So I'm going to take copy island. You can simply use control C, control V. You can say OK. And then alternate text in case the image doesn't load. You can show the text as island. OK, you can just say island. Oh, sorry, wrong spellings. OK. And then below this, you can insert the Paris image. So where do we get Paris? Paris is over 
here control C control V say okay and say Paris over here okay so we have got the text we have got the images and then finally at the end they have said contact details now if you look at the contact details row it has been merged with the two columns okay can you see the last row has been merged with the two columns so i'm going to do the same thing over here i'm going to select these two columns select these two right click and i'm going to come to table and i'm going to say merge cells okay make it one cell okay can you see this over here so contact details also at the beginning of the paper it has been mentioned okay if you go right to the starting point of your paper here you go the contact details have been given i'm just going to copy all this Control c and i'm going to press Control v over here website we do not need to mention again okay because already the user is on the website so we have the address we have the phone we have the email okay let's go back to our question uh yeah so i guess we have put everything now we just have to focus on this area the website house style yeah it says the background color of the website should be pale yellow okay so if you want to modify the background color of your website you can very easily come to modify and you come to something called page properties so in page properties you have text color you have background color you have various options okay and remember in page properties whatever options you make will apply to the entire page okay so we right now only need to focus on the background color and the text color so it told us that the background color should be pale yellow so you can find pale yellow somewhere over here and the text color should be dark blue so we have something like this over here let me check that again pale yellow dark blue yes that's correct and you can click on apply okay okay so this is how your web page looks uh, is there anything else uh, everything else has been done okay so then make sure your web page is fit for purpose display the web page make sure all content is visible on the screen take a screenshot of the web page okay so right now not all content is visible so what you can do is you can see right now it has been zoomed into 100 percent so you can zoom out maybe to 66 percent okay and uh, all the content is visible okay that looks fine and what you can do is you can take a screenshot from over here so on your keyboard you have the print screen button okay or you can use a snipping tool even whichever you prefer i'm just going to go with the print screen button i took a screenshot and then i'm supposed to where am i supposed to paste it uh, save the web page as offer so i'm supposed to save this as offer as well so file save do not forget to save it in your same 2012 folder my folder is over here and I'm supposed to save this as offer. You do not need to put .html or normally when you were learning in Notepad, you were putting .html. But since at the beginning itself, you told Dreamweaver that you want HTML document, the .html part is automatically being inserted for you. So not necessary for you to type .html. And you click on save. So your web page has been saved. If you come back to your folder, can you see your web page has been saved for you? And uh, the next part is what? You are supposed to open a new document using word processing software. You have to enter these details in the footer and you have to paste a screenshot into task WA1 and you have to save your document as task WA1. So let's go into my folder, right click. I want a new word document. It's supposed to be called uh, task WA1. Let's open it. And uh, <clears throat> Seems to be taking a little bit of time. Okay, let's load it now. So immediately I open this and I go straight for the footer. Double click on the footer and I type over here task WA1, my name, candidate number, and my center number. Okay close header and footer and do not forget to paste your screenshot you can simply say control v okay so when you say control v your web page has now sorry your screenshot has now been pasted okay and uh, then it just says print task wa1 so you're supposed to save it and then print it so you just click on save and then if you have a printer that you have plugged in you can try printing it come to print okay you can see it's fitting one a4 paper and you can click on print okay so i hope uh, this was pretty clear to you okay uh, in the next video, we'll be moving on to the spreadsheet software. Okay.